These people are so desperate to make us believe that they care. They're so desperate to make us believe they care. Anytime there's a disaster, Bono comes out. Uh, all the, the opera comes out. The usual suspect, they all come out. Oh, let's donate. Let's help this. Let's do that. Let's do this. And you're like, what's your motive? This whole situation with the fire over at uh, that island in the US, or you can't say the name of the island, or you know, they're going to they're shut you down. They're going to censor you. By just saying M A U I. Go figure. She's got over 2,000 acres. Oprah's got over 2,000 acres in that island. BlackRock, Vanguard, Norm, they're investing heavily in that part of the island. They want that island so bad. We can all agree that this whole thing stinks to high heavens. This thing stinks to high heavens. There's something not right here. And Oprah and The Rock came out asking the regular people, you and I, that can barely survive in this crazy ass world right now. They're barely keeping our heads above water. The everyday day man, the day to day people, they're asking us to come and donate and help. For one, they're not letting people into the island. Only God knows why. People that want to go and bring in water, they're not letting them to go in. Because water there is poisoned somehow. You can't drink the water over there. They're just desperately trying to drive the people out. It's This whole thing is mad. It's crazy. You saw the other video I did with the FEMA staff over there in a five-star hotel or seven-star hotel just chilling. So now she's come out and her and the, and the Rock. The Rock is worth over 100 million, probably more. She is worth over 2 billion, if not 3 billion. Only her could sort out the whole issue on that island. Only her could help everybody on that island. And she's still going to have billions left. But let's see what they're saying. We were so concerned about what was happening no, in you're Maui not. that we were texting back and forth. And I read this article that Dolly Parton had given money in her community. And I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced in Maui. We guarantee. That's right. I know a lot of people out there, as Oprah and I have been finding, are just uh, having a hard time trusting where the money goes. What organizations that I send money to? How can I help? Uh, in this case. Listen to that. People are worried where the money goes. So listen to that. They have a solution for you where the money is going to be safe. The money is going to go directly to the people. Just hear them. The fund that we created with a lot of hard work from a lot of hard working. The fund they created. Listen. People yeah. who all care about these people of Maui, uh, as Oprah was saying, it is a clean, direct, from you, directly to their hands. And right away with some real immediacy, because as we're finding, as you guys around the world know, with disasters like this, the number one need is money. Is money. These people are not nice people. They need money. They need you to give them money so they can help people. They can do it themselves. They're worth billions. She's got Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and Warren Buffett, Bill Gates on speed dial. Only Mark Zuckerberg can feed everybody in the whole world. If Mark Zuckerberg gives everybody in the world one million dollars each, he's still going to have billions left himself. Everybody in the world. He didn't know about seven billion of us in the world. And these people are worth hundreds, if not half a trillion. <laughs> is my in hand and so money. people being able to have their own agency being able to make decisions for themselves about what they need and what their family needs that's our goal is to get that to the people now and so we appreciate any support that you can give all the people who were calling me and texting if you dig into her school she opened in south africa you f you, you you figure out some real evil stuff was going on there that they were using those little girls for these are not nice people at all me and messaging me and saying what do i do what do i do this is what you do no the people's fund of money <laughs> the people's fund of money you see with a smiley happy face that's where you go put the money there it goes directly to the people the people's fund of maui is under an, a bigger company an umbrella company called the eif the entertainment something something fund entertainment industry industry foundation right 
And this entertainment industry foundation is owned by multi, multi millionaires, if not billionaires, her friends, her people, her and the rocks people. They own the foundation that created this people's fund of Maui. You see? Oh, I look so trustworthy. Talking with a smile on my face. Look like Brian Stelter. <laughs> These are not nice people. The president of the People's Fund of the uh, EIF, the Entertainment uh, Industry Foundation, guy is worth, he gets paid over $500,000. Over $500,000 per year. A non profit? It, does that sound like a non profit to you? That's a non profit profit company. That's, the, that's what the president is earning every year. The CEO earn, probably earns even more. Earns over 600. They, that's why they're having lots of backlash now. You come into Bogos, we that are barely surviving. When y'all can do it yourselves. Billionaires don't stay billionaires by giving people money. They stay billionaires by taking your money. There is no way billionaires should be asking regular people. Are you what? Man, I keep saying it. We're in it. We're, 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 we've passed the twilight zone. This is past 1984 type stuff. George Orwell couldn't dream of what's going on right now. <laughs>